What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. In this vlog, I think we're gonna do a few things. One, I'm gonna show you a um, visor delete that I did. Here's the two delete plates. I'm gonna scuff them up a little bit. Well, first I'm gonna um, mark the holes for where they need to be drilled, and then I'm gonna scuff them up and paint them. But I'm gonna tell you guys, so if you guys wanna make simple delete plates or just simple stuff, you can buy like a sheet of aluminum and a pair of tin snips and you can make a lot of stuff. Like I just did these with tin snips and um, the first ones I made are right here. And they were kind of messed up. So um, I went ahead and made new ones and the tin snips helped out a lot. Before I was doing it with these and bending the metal, dikes are like the worst. Tin snips are the way to go. sets of delete plates and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scuff them up a little bit and throw some black paint on them and then put them in the truck. Just laying a coat of paint on them. I'll probably do maybe two more coats but unfortunately it's only like maybe close to 50 degrees so the paint's kind of cold. So a trick I've learned when paint's cold just give it enough time in between coats to dry, and then it evens out. Like you can kind of see all the orange peel already starting. You're gonna have some of that, unfortunately, with spray paint, um, but if you let it sit, it'll even out and flatten. All right, here they are installed. They look so good. I might eventually change the finish of them, but I think for delete plates, they look sick. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, and if any of you want some of these delete plates, I can easily make more, so let me know. And right now I'm actually gonna go get the truck washed and then I'm gonna wipe it down with some spray wax. And then I think after that, I'm gonna go through my parts bin. Um, I also wanted to show you guys something I got for the vlogs. It's this lens right here, it's a wide angle lens. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna really be able to use it to vlog until I get an external mic for the phone because the lens covers up the mic on the back side of the phone here. So, um, but I'll show you guys how much it widens the angle right now. So let me flip this around. Boom, all right, you guys see that? Now, let me get this guy all lined up. Let's see. It's not fully lined up, but there's the wide angle, non-wide angle, wide angle, non-wide angle, wide angle. So I'm going to show you what it does to the audio and why I need an external mic. So I'm put it on. You can barely hear me. So I need an external mic. Anyway, um... Let's go get the truck washed, wiped down, and then I'm gonna show you guys my parts bin. Yeah, it's really messy in here, so just disregard that. Ty Rose. off 
Here are the newest parts that will be going into the part bin. It's because I did the visor delete on the truck. You guys already saw that. So if anyone wants a set of Explorer um, light advisors, they have the LED, I mean, you can't see it right now, but they have the LED bulbs in them. And all you have to do is take this wire, probably just chop it and uh, extend it. So if you want some light advisors, um, hit me up either on my Instagram, which will be right here, or you can just leave me a comment down below and um, how to get a hold of you and then we can talk price. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you some parts from my parts bin. Um, these actually aren't in the parts bin, but they were sitting on top of it, but they are parts for the truck. So first off, I've talked about this. This is the Explorer engine cover. Um, so that'll be in a video coming up, so look forward to that. Um, the conversion from a um, 4.0 Ranger engine cover to a 4.0 Explorer engine cover. So there's one part. Here's also another Explorer part. This is just a um, center console piece. Um, that piece goes here in the center console. I just like to have extra because it's hard to find them with the felt in good condition. I've talked about that in another video. Um, I'm actually gonna grab my soda. Um, close the door here. If y'all ever come to Idaho, well, specifically Rexburg, Where's the freaking sticker at? Go to Soda Vine. It is so, so good. It's actually kind of addicting. All right. The next part that I haven't installed and I really want to install is these LED rock lights. Um, these are from Mike to Mick Tuning. Mike Tuning. Um, this isn't a sponsored video, but Mike Tuning, if you see this um, and you want to... Uh, Send me some of your products to review. I've done that for other companies, so um, hit me up. Here is a truck bed tent for my truck. Sits in the back of the bed. Um, I have yet to use it, but um, once the weather gets better, better, once the weather gets better, I um, plan to go use it. So I don't know, do you guys wanna see camping vlogs? Because I would be definitely be down to do some camping vlogs if that's something you're interested in. So what I'll do is I'll either put a poll up here in the, video, I think I can do that, or um, down in the comments, I'll pin a comment that I made and it'll say, hey, do you want me to do um, camping vlogs? And then you can like or dislike that comment, depending on how many likes or dislikes I get, will determine whether or not I do them. So there's those parts. Um, I'll also talk about these. So this used to be on my truck, it's a brush guard. Anyway, I took it off so I could put the OEM skid plate on it that I found and it wouldn't fit with this. And if I was gonna try and make it fit, then I'd have to cut slits in the skid plate, and I just couldn't bring myself to do that to an OEM part that's really hard to find. So the skid plate took this thing's place, um, and honestly, like if anyone wants this, hit me up, but um, it, I'm not gonna ship it. So you have to be local to the Idaho, like Rexburg, Idaho Falls area, Pocatello. Um, but yeah, I'll let that go for like, 120 bucks. They're like 200 something new and this thing is in really good condition. Um, what else? Here's another Gosh, I have so much. I gotta clean up this place, but here's a light bar um, That I eventually want to put back on the truck. It was sitting on here um, But I don't know where I want to put it So that's something that'll be coming up in the videos or maybe not depending on whether I decide to sell it or put it back on the truck All right now we're gonna get into the good stuff so, here we go. Alright, so here's another piece. Um, I had this in my truck for a while. Um, I just took it out because I, I like to change things up. I don't know if you guys are like that. Like, sometime... Sorry, there's a plane. I'm like literally right by a, like a regional airport. So, um, but I don't know if you guys are like this, but... Sometimes I'll just like take stuff out of the truck just because I want to change up of like how it looks. And this was one of those things I had in there and then I took it out, but this is a black dash cover. I don't know if I'll sell this one, but if somebody wants it, um, I mean, hit me up with a price either on my Instagram or down in the comments. Um, but I 
might keep this around just because I think it's kind of a cool piece. Um, I think a lot of the parts I have are cool pieces. That's why I keep them but and hoard them. But yeah, there's one thing. Um, what's in here? Well, I will put a screen grab of a video I did back back when um, and it was uh, some parts I picked up from the junkyard and they're just um, gravel guards that go on the back of the truck right there that back corner um, so yeah you guys can see those in the screen grab and then these were also in that video um, I'm actually selling these so these are glove box lights um, I have a how-to on my channel that you guys can go check out of how to install these super easy. Just one wire um, and just a nut or a stud and a bolt that you just bolt in to where your um, non-lighted glove box latches and then run this wire down to your fuse panel and run it into, I think it's the green orange wire and then install that. Um, so I have two of those for sale. Um, so if you guys want those, just let me know. Here is what another piece to this, um, which is just the regular black fuse panel. I talked about these in a previous video. Yeah, Thunderbolt um, lighted mirrors, the signal mirrors. Ooh, it gets jumbled in here. Um, this is just an old um, radiator. Um, piece that went in like this in the front of the radiator or this and I got is this is like a they're called air dams um, but I got one that's a full it goes like it's it more directly directs air into the radiator basically what it is it's like a full like air dam like it directly directs air into the radiator more efficiently so um, I just replaced that dinky piece with a better OEM part. Let's see, and here we have two of the square ring, or the rectangular Ranger emblems, the updated ones. So there's those, and I have the older version on mine. And I think I'm gonna keep it that way. But it's always nice to have these parts, especially if someone needs them. Like. You guys, seriously, if you guys ever need a part and you want me to go look at my junkyard for it, I mean, yeah, you'll have to pay me for it, but I would gladly go look for you if you need anything, so just let me know. Let's see what else I have in here. So this is my bag of just odds and ends. I've got like bolts and fasteners that are specific to the Ranger. Um, yeah basically junk. I've got the OEM radio because I've changed out my head unit. This is kind of cool. Um, so some Rangers, earlier Rangers, came with a locked um, locking glove box latch thing. Um, I don't, th I didn't get this out of a Ranger. I actually got this out of a Grand Marquis or a Crown Victoria. Can't remember which one, but that body style. Um, and the only thing about this one is you do have to do a modification to the actual um, glove box um, where the latch goes into itself. You have to widen it a little bit so that can fit in there. But, and I haven't tested this out, but I know if Rangers came with the locking glove box latch. And so I don't know if you get those, if you have to make any modifications, I would assume you don't, but I know if you get it out of another similar um, car of that age range, like those years, then you might have to make a modification like this one. And I'm, that's why I just haven't done it. I just haven't had the time to cut out um, more of the glove box so that can fit in there, but I might eventually do it. Might not, I'm not sure. Let's see, I've got an old third brake light. Just a boring, I don't know why I keep that, just, just in case. And here's some OEM speakers. These are still good. I just replaced the front door speakers. And um, so if the back ones go out, which they're still OEM, I'll just throw these in because a lot of the noise that you want is up front. Um, these will just be kind of good like background speakers. 
I think I've got four of these. These are just flush mount LED lights. Yeah, three and four. Uh, well, this is just an extra um, brake lights, the LED one. And then in he here's just a bunch of stickers. Um, yeah, you guys can see, I just kind of keep junk. This is actually a Ranger emblem with Velcro on it. I used to have it on here, like, I think it was like somewhere down here like that in the corner. Um, in this box, let's see, I can't quite remember what I have in here. Yep, just a bunch of random stuff. So I, I bought another cluster and it had the um, silver gauge faces in it and I just took those silver gauge faces out and put them into my cluster that's in my truck now. And I just kind of took this piece out because I mean, you know, it's something that might go bad, but I just didn't want to waste parts from the cluster. But anyway, I have that. Some more bolts. What are these two? I don't, I don't know. They're not to that. Oh, I think these are to my side step rails that I took off. And they're actually piled under there somewhere. Oh, man. I'm oh, sorry, guys. My nose is really running. I'm actually pretty sick. But I wanted to get a vlog out to you guys. This is just the piece that goes under the dash. Um, I had to take this out so that I could fit the center console. So I kept that. <laughs> Jump a battery thing. Oh, here's an extra like rear door latch. The one I have in my truck is a little rusty, so I was gonna replace it, just haven't done it. And let's see, we're getting down to just some random stuff. This is the um, silencer in your air box that you can take out. Maybe I'll do a how-to eventually on how to do that, but it just lets you hear, if you take this out of your intake box, it lets you hear your intake a little bit more. Um, I like it. And here's just my old mirror, cause now I have the, um, hello. Now I have the Explore auto dimming mirror in there. And these are all to a, these are all just like the mounts and brackets to a Bronco 2 sway bar that I have. Um, it's a rear sway bar that I eventually am going to put into the truck. It's just, I, being a student, I don't have that much time to work on the truck. And so like, I know I've gotten a, some people, especially on Instagram, to say like, you have all this stuff and you haven't like put it in. I want to put it in. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I don't have that much time. But anyway, um, there's some odds and ends around here. Like this is a back panel that goes into the back of the truck that I eventually might put in. Let me see. Over here is actually the, uh, there's the sway bar that I'll eventually put in. I just have a bunch of parts laying around and I do need to get busy on doing stuff to the truck. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. I know it's not like super exciting, like putting something on the truck, but it's kind of cool to go through um, the things that are gonna be coming up. So that mess of stuff is what was in my parts bins. So yeah, guys, um, Hopefully I'll be able to get an external mic and be able to use that wide angle lens because I think that's gonna really do a lot for the videos. I'm gonna go ahead um, and order a external mic and then um, be able to use the wide angle lens. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do the outro. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content. If you're not already, go follow me on my Instagram. You'll get daily posts of the truck and just random things on my story so go follow me there and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video Thanks.